Hey guys, welcome in third and last part of image upload feature. In this lecture, we'll continue and we'll try to persist images so we can display image gallery on the images we have uploaded to Cloudinary. All right, so let's start. Go to your coding editors. And I will use here local database I've prepared for you. If you would like to use some other database, maybe you want to use Mongo database, or you maybe you want to use your SQL database, you can go ahead, you can use it. It will be very simple to integrate it into a current solution. All right, with that, I will, uh, actually I will keep here this upload.js or do we need it actually? Yeah, we'll keep it here. Let's go to our server folder. Here you should find a DB folder and a DB folder, you have a different models will be storing in a JSON, JSON files. Okay, so I have created very simple JSON files for storing images. When we, will get, when we want to create a model of our image we are going to store in a database, simply in your DB folder, oops, it disappeared, in a DB folder, create a new file. Let's call it, we can call it uh, Cloudinary Images or just simply images or image.js. This will be the name of our model. And then uh, let's go to access hash, for example. Let's copy this entire code from an access hash. Let's go to image.js, let's paste it here to register a model. Okay, so you will write here file DB, that's fine. Function register and name of your collection, how you want to call it. We can call it simply images. All right, like this. Perfect, and that's basically it. Now we just need to import this uh, registered uh, model into our index.js and we need to use some functionalities to store the file. Okay, so let's go to our index.js. Now you can import up here your image model. So write your cons, we can call it C image for a Cloudinary image or Cloudinary image, up to you. All right, require, you will import a model from a dot slash DB folder and we are calling it image, right? Perfect, and that's basically it. Now we can use your C image. So let's go down to your to your endpoint where we are uploading image. So let me find it. All right, so here is an image upload. Here we are getting the results of our upload. And here we'll create a new image. Okay, so let's write here const C image equals sign new cloudinary or new C image. That's how we are calling it, C image. Uh, where we'll provide our data. So we'll provide here data we are providing here. So we'll just simply copy this object. Let's paste, pass, pass it to a Cloudinary image we are creating. And then you will simply use here C image dot save function. It's asynchronous, so use here await. And this will store it to a JSON file into, into your database folder. Okay, and here in this part here, you can use here your own database you can use here your own db solution okay it's up to you this part here here will be you here will you will be storing images to your database all right so images is sent so what we need to do we just simply need to send back to a user this this up this saved image from a database now and yeah that's it basically guys so that's the only changes let's save the file let's go back to our terminals Okay, let's see our node server. Let's shut it down. Let's rerun this. All right, so node server, and now we can try the upload. So back to browsers. Let's see it here. All right, inspect network. Let's choose a file here, for example, this one. Okay, upload. Okay, it has been successful, but we are not displaying any image. I think that's gonna be issue in our front end. I was playing a last lecture with the initial value. In the upload.js, if you remember, we change images to empty use state, which is initialize images to an empty, to undefined structure. And here we are trying to destructurize undefined, so of course this will fail. So to simplify things here, just simply assign to images use state of an initially empty array, that's much better. Now you can save this, you can go back to your browsers, and now you should display your image correctly, so choose file. Let's say JavaScript, let's upload. It's uploaded correctly and your image is displayed here. So it's working. Also, when you will go to database now, we'll see our coding editors and here in a DB folder, you should have your image, images.json and you should have your two files here. So you can see we are keeping ID of the file, a resource we have specified and a Cloudinary ID and URL. And now we can work with this data and we can fetch them on demand.
All right, so now let's do it. Let's try to fetch our images. All right, for this, we'll go uh, to our index.js. All right, and we'll create here a new endpoint to get images. So here, let's write here app.get. All right, slash API slash, let's call it just the images. We'll specify here request handler where we'll get a request response. And simply we can use here a C image model. All right, and function is called get all, I guess, or find all. I'm not really now completely 100% sure. I will go to my DB folder to my model.js and yeah, get all is called. Yeah, okay. So get all function, this will get me all my all uh, docu my all images from my images.json file. And this is asynchronous function, so I will specify here async, and here I will specify await to get, get it synchronously, and I will assign it to images variable, and I will send it back to a client's return response.json of images, and now we can test it out. So let's save this. Again, let's re restart our server, so node server, and let's go back to our browsers where we can go to localhost 3001 slash API slash images. And now you can see we are getting our images, our JSON object with two images. Perfect. So now we can ask for these images on our client application uh, in a new page. For example, we will create some gallery page or images page and we'll display these images. But first we need to fetch them. Uh, before that, guys, we will do small refactoring changes. We'll move some functionalities to a separate files because it's getting this file is getting messy and yeah, it's not very good to keep everything in one file. It's good to keep it when you are explaining lectures, but not very when you want to when to when you want to maintain your code. So in our server folder, I will create a new folder. I will call it services. In a services folder, I will create a new new files, three new files. I will call it data, uri.js. I think that's how we are calling this package, right? I will just verify data URI parser. Okay, data URI.js is good. Uh, services, new file, malter.js. And uh, what we are using also is a cloudinary. So cloudinary.js. Okay, we'll start with the malter.js. We'll go uh, to our index.js here and we'll create, we will copy malter related code to this, to this file. So all of this here. Actually, this can stay middle, this middleware can stay here. We'll, co we'll copy all of this here. Let's copy, remove it, and let's pass it to a malter.js here. Okay, so we are importing here malter, that's correct. We can change the order a little bit here. So malter first, then allowed formats, memory storage, correct. And here we are getting this single upload. All right, we are creating it from upload.single. So I will do it uh, actually differently. I will I will export this upload here, this upload object. So let's write here exports.upload. All right, we'll remove this line here. Let's copy, remove like this. So now we are exporting upload here. So it, it's more reusable. And in index.js, here we'll simply, we can, we are using this single upload here. So we can copy it, yeah, here. All right, or on the top of the file, I will keep it here for now, so it's more, more more clear here, single upload. Okay, now we'll continue what we have here else. We have here data URI parser. Okay, so let's move data URI, URI parser. So I'll move this. Let's copy it, remove it. Let's go to data URI.js. Let's paste it here and simply we'll export this function. So once again, export format a buffer to 64 like this. I will copy this function name. I'll go to index.js. And here, actually, uh, this wrong, we need, we need to import here upload. Okay, I, I'll fix it very shortly. So uh, let's under here, or above here, let's write const in a curly brackets format buffer to 64th and equals a require. And we are importing it from, we need to go out of the, we are currently in index.js, we need to go to, to our services folder and this from a data URI and we need to import also upload, don't forget. So like this and we'll import upload we have defined in, in a malter like this. Now it should be correct. All right. And now there is just a Cloudinary left. So simply copy all of this Cloudinary related code. Let's go to Cloudinary.js. Let's paste it here. 
Okay, and we'll just simply export this function, exports, Cloudinary, upload, and we'll copy these. We'll go to index.js, and uh, one last time, here I will import this, and this will be Cloudinary upload from services and Cloudinary. I hope I didn't, didn't, didn't make any mistakes. I'll just copy this, all of these three imports of our functions we have separated now. Let's copy them remove them and let's paste them on top of this file let's see here okay and now we can just scroll down here verify that we are correctly writing this function so here is our middleware using upload all right okay cloudinary upload is here format buffer it's here so now you'll verify these guys first okay so let's save this let's go to our terminals Node server, it's running, that's a good sign. Let's go to our browsers, let's try to upload the image. So choose file here, for example, this one, clear it out, upload, and it's working, perfect. All right, so now we can create an image gallery page. Okay, so back to our coding editors. We can reuse all the functionality. I will close all of these files, so close others. Let's close this, we'll go just to our pages folder now. Okay, so let's see pages. I'll create here a new file. I'll call it simply images.js. Perfect. Uh, let's see upload.js. So should we copy it? I think we'll be using all the functionalities. Or, uh, okay, let's write our code manually. So let's go to our images. Let's write here const images will be arrow function. Return here some JSX and export default this component. Export the default our images. All right, perfect. Now we'll provide here some JSX. We need to first fetch images. Okay, so uh, we'll use your function. This one is called use get, similarly as we are using use mutation in our upload. We'll use here use get, and this will fetch images. Okay, so I will copy this. All right, let's, imp oops, not like this. Let's import it, uh, and this will be called use get. All right, and we'll import here use get. So use get from similarly restful, restful React. Perfect. Uh, you don't need to specify here actually verb because this is uh, defined already in a in a use get, and we want to get here path of uh, slash images, images. All right. And it will not call it mutate, you have a just data here in this function, and it will call it our images data. And also you can get your loading sta state value while you are fetching your data, you will get here loading. All right, so we should get uh, our images fetched here. Uh, what we need to get here is a use state. Okay, so let's get here import use state because we need to we need to save our images or actually we don't need to save them what i'm doing we're just getting them and we are displaying them okay so <laughs> we just need to function to display images so we can get this function from upload.js so simply i will copy this display images function like this all right i will get it here perfect and then i will go to our uh, to return here and i will also copy this functionality from here so just get this div here let's paste it into return let's wrap it into empty brackets like this and let's get it here images display images if there are no images there are no images <laughs> all right okay so verify and also we can specify page title so page title i will copy this for my upload.js i will get it here and i will call it simply image gallery image uh, gallery perfect and yeah, page title, we need to import page title so we can do so from our upload.js. Let's copy it, let's get it up here on top of this file. And uh, while we are loading our data, we can also display here some state, right? So let's, let's display here, if we are loading our data, you can of course make it nicer. I will just display here a simple string uh, loading or loading images like this. And um, yeah. That should be basically it, guys. So uh, let's save this, please, and let's go back to our browsers. All right, I will refresh this. We'll go to slash images, and let's see. And yeah, that's our upload. All of our uploaded images we are uh, we are getting from a server. So when you will refresh your page, you will see here network tab. You should see here API request to your images. Here it is. Okay, you can see HTTP localhost 3001 slash API slash images response is your array of the images. 
you have in your server in db folder so when you go to server db image image not here uh, json file images.json here we have all these three images we are now displaying in our client okay so now when i will upload more images i will go to upload here choose file okay so for example this one upload it's uploaded of course when i will refresh here we are not persisting here state but when i will go images images page will refresh my images from a server and it will display also this new image. All right, guys, so that should be it from, uh, from these features. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. I know it was extensive series, but such a feature is not, it's not so, it takes a lot of time to implement such a feature. It's not just a lecture for a five minutes if you want to see everything step by step. If you are looking for more in detail uh, descriptions, more detailed explanations, I have very extensive courses on these topics on my in my, Acad in my Eincode Academy website, you can find it in the description or here in the video. I will be, yeah, I will be happy if you will just at least uh, check it out. So guys, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. And I hope to see you in some of my other videos. Cheers, guys.